All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. So, friendly reminder, all the sales are still going on. I'm gonna throw them up on the screen real quick if you wanna check them out. I'm trying to give everybody enough time for like paydays and things like that. I'm trying to consider everyone before I take them off. Patreon and channel members get to see all of these first always. Patreon members get ad-free as well as bonus readings, things like that. Um, so I wanna do a twin flame reading, but I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie, and I don't know why. I don't know if I'm scared to hear what they're gonna say. I don't know if I'm scared, I don't know. But I have been postponing this reading. So someone here could be postponing a conversation, postponing approaching, postponing dealing with this i don't know but i'm i'm gonna dig into it and we're gonna see so i'm gonna use my cards to start if you ever want to check them out you can find it in the comments section these are my oracle cards oh i'm nervous i'm nervous i'm nervous why am i flipping nervous it's so interesting i just did another reading and i wasn't nervous the energy was heavy and in this reading i'm like nervous I didn't want anything deep, but then I met you. I've been missing your touch and your embrace. The moment I met you, I knew that you were what I was praying for. I feel like you love me unconditionally, and I've known this from the start. This person is asking people that they trust. Now, the first thing that I've seen is someone like maybe a therapist or a counselor. They could be in therapy, counseling, better help. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Um, but they could be getting clarity or trying to get guidance from someone that they trust. What should I do? What should I do about this? Now, some of you, this is going to be a no contact simply because I picked up the no contact. Some of you, not so much, okay? Maybe there's a, a little bit of a distance. Maybe you're traveling, they're not. Maybe you guys live in a different town. So I'm gonna do a little bit of like a no contact portion, just a few cards, and then we'll get it back together. What does this person want you to know? I'm haunted by you. They could be wanting to give this one last chance. It's interesting, this person could have been unfazed. They weren't necessarily emotionally invested in the way that you wanted them to be. However, they could be wanting to give this a last chance, but they could want you to take the action. It's like, I'm not making a move towards you. You know where to find me. You know my number. You know, that's this person. So, it, okay. Recently, this person's had an epiphany that they feel empty without you. Now, why were they unfazed? It could have been because there was something here about it not being the right time. It could have been because this person was overwhelmed in their life. So they made the decision to just say, I'm not for you, period, point blank. I'm, I'm, I'm done, we're done, this is not, this is not. But now they could be having an epiphany that they want, it's funny, this card does not go in this deck and it says change wanting or having the courage to travel towards or communicate recognizing that they have been forever changed but that could have been an epiphany that come after they made the choice that they were not your forever so this could be a twin flame who broke up with you. This could be a twin flame who was like, I ain't giving you no time and attention. And now they could be like, damn. When I think back to that person, that person really changed me. And they even made me see that maybe what I want is possible. I prayed for someone like them. But maybe just maybe they kept telling themselves, but it isn't you. It isn't the right time. This isn't the right moment. Um, yeah, it, it isn't you, but that could have been them just making the choice to not emotionally invest. Okay. I don't know what y'all got going on. What does this person want to say to you? I've been doing a lot of reflecting here lately and I'm seeing that I do have feelings for you. Oh God. I love you just came out okay um and I want you back the 
for some of you, this person know, knows that they crossed a line with you. Something that they did messed this up. Again, that could have been the decision. I'm not wasting any more time with you. I'm not emotionally investing in you. I can let you go. I don't care. You're not the one that got away. You were literally nothing special to me. Thank you, though. That could have been this person's demeanor, their energy, their action, because action is a behavior, period. That could have been what messed this up. Now, here's the thing. You could be a cross watcher, and this could be Pisces, okay? I'm not here to take Pisces back all the time. Sometimes I am, but not always. Now, someone here is recognizing that they're forever changed. What does this person feel about this relationship? How do they view this relationship? They view it as something that maybe progressed quickly. They could view it as something that they want to discuss. Yeah, wanting to drop their guard and possibly talk about some sort of anxiety, stress, or worry. They could want to drop their guard and tell you that they were either anxious, stressed, and worried about a change. For some of you, this person could have felt that you guys were getting near marriage, then they dipped out. This person could have felt that you guys were getting too close, then they dipped out. This could be someone who gave themselves an excuse. This could also be someone that you dated and they felt that they were no longer emotionally attached or that they were over the relationship but didn't realize until after they left how attached or in it they were. And that could be something that they're wanting to communicate. Not wanting to hold anything back. Not wanting to hold things close to their chest. Okay, how do they view you? Or again, cross watcher, keep it out, keep it open, keep it out, you know. They view you as someone who doesn't move very quickly. They view you as someone who's moving on or moving away because you do not see success or victory. They view you as someone where they try to listen to their intuition. They view you as someone where there was a, okay. So they view you as someone where there was a passionate new beginning. But, okay, so first off, some of you could have met this person in a time in their life when they weren't having success and victory. I don't, I don't know your backstory, but this is what I do know. When you met this person, they were not feeling recognized. They were not feeling like their life was successful. This could have been a man down on his luck. This could have been a woman who didn't feel beautiful. This is something where this person met you in a time in their life where they were trying to get out of chaos into calm into peace and they allowed you in they could have felt like this was going to be a lot of fun this could have been a new beginning there could have been a lot of passion but whatever it was it led to an inevitable ending an ending that hurt you and an ending that hurt them that's how they view you they view you that as something that kind of came into their life and you swept them up and you dropped them all their on their butt that's what they feel It can also view you as someone who likes to sneak away from certain emotions. So if you have a hard time expressing something, you don't express it at all, you might even dip out. Have you ever met people who, it, it's like if they're feeling sad, they're not gonna say anything, they're just gonna go home. And then maybe two weeks down the road, they'll say, well, you know, I left the party because I was really sad. Nope, we didn't know that, you didn't tell us. That can be how this person views you. They can view you as someone who's very emotionally open and you know what you feel, but maybe you don't know how to express it or you express it in a way where you take yourself out of situations. Um, okay, well, so-and-so just hurt my feelings and that person's at this party. I got to go. I'm inconvenienced. They could feel that you then dip out. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just how they view it. Okay. They could also view you as someone who wants something to be balanced. You want someone to pour into you. Some of you could be dating a doctor. Some of you could be dating a baseball player is what I want to say. Or you could be starting to date a baseball player if you're single. Yeah, again, someone here either wanted attention or wanted to live, live again. Live a little. So that could have resulted in the ending. Let's say that you were with this person and it was like, okay, well, we've been together for five years and honestly, I'm tired of all of this. I'm tired. I'm ready to dip out. They could have dipped out. They could have seen you as the opportunity or the person that come into their life 
and viewed them in a way that they wanted to be viewed when the world was crumbling. But they also view you as someone where the ending hurt. Yeah, we had fun, but it didn't last long. It maybe lasted nine years, nine weeks, nine months, nine days, maybe nine hours. This could have been someone you just spent one night with, lasted nine hours. And you could have wanted something balanced, but they could have wanted something different. They could have been searching for something. Something that they were missing. So not only were they maybe searching for peace, but maybe they were searching it from people who couldn't offer it. They could have been searching for excitement. They could have been searching for like fantasy. What they're showing me is movies. I was watching a movie last night and in the movie there was like um, a bunch of people and it was just a party and they were having so much fun. And those moments can be very fun until you're the person in the corner kind of in your mind thinking and you're just so distant from the moment of reality that it's kind of like you're not even there. That's what I'm getting with this person. This person could have wanted those moments where it's fun. I wanna go to the club. I want to go to this party. I've not been to parties in forever. I didn't get to party when I was younger. When I was younger, my parents were strict. I had kids. I was married. Whatever that looks like. But this person then could have went into those moments or those situations and felt kind of out of out of element. I'm too old to be here. I do not like this. I do not enjoy this. I don't bounce back like I used to. There's just so many things where it's like it wasn't what they expected it to be. So if this is someone who broke up with you to go live life, it wasn't what they expected it to be. If this is someone who met you in a moment of their life where they were living their life, living their best life, and maybe you were kind of a casualty in that, or maybe you were a good time, not a long time in that, they used you as a way for them to get to peace to be recognized the way that they needed to. It's kind of like this person had a wound and everybody they met took the Band-Aid off and put a new one on. And you could have felt like you were the kind of person who took the Band-Aid off and you put a new one on and this person went on their merry little way. You could have helped them get to a place of peace. You could have helped them recognize, oh, you're wounded, oh, you need help, oh, you're seeking peace, oh, you're, you're seeking whatever. But there could also be something here where you don't see this person as maybe balanced or something that can offer balance. Maybe you also feel like this person wants you to love them unconditionally, but they don't love you that way. Because I'm seeing something here about pouring into a cup and you feeling very independent and even confident in what you give someone. So if you love, you love and you don't care if you get it back because when you love, you love. However, they could have really loved your unconditional love, your unconditional affection, time, attention, all of those beautiful things. Now they could be recognizing that they actually are very fond of you. We're going to say the L word. And that they want you back in their life. However, your intuition could tell you that this person could be ending up empty-handed. So again... Let's say that this is someone who is like, well, I want to go party, okay? They ended up empty-handed. All of those people that they partied with, they might now be more broke than they've ever been. None of those people are in their life anymore. Those were temporaries, not forevers. If these are people that they messed with, they don't talk to those people anymore. Those people might even be in the next stage of their life. And they're like, wait, who are we talking about? Kevin who? Uh, Francesca who? Ashley who? No, I don't. Oh my God, I do know who that is. That could be who this person is to other people now. And they could be recognizing, okay, this isn't fulfilling. This isn't fun. I wanted to live like I was a teen again. I'm not a teen. I wanted to just go around and learn and live a little. This ain't so fun. I don't like learning. Actually, school is not my favorite. That could be this person's energy. Okay, so because I I felt like I, I beat a dead horse with that one. So, okay. So, we've got a card in here that's not supposed to be in here. Oh, God. That one keeps coming up. 
possibly having your your photos and videos feeling a lot of passion towards you wanting to open up some sort of communication or dialogue okay hold on a second they could be reflecting on some sort of communication or dialogue if you took any sense of impulsive action where you were open understanding caring compassionate if you love this person after they treated you like this they're now seeing you through those eyes if this person left you and you were still kind this person's looking back and going whoa you know they continue time and time and time again to take action that they felt that they needed to take because they still felt passionate they still felt love so again let's say that this is someone who breaks up with you or leaves you you could have continued to Check up on them. See how they've been. Let them know that you were there for them even though they didn't want you, which is interesting. I've never said that before. And this person could be reflecting on that communication. Okay. Now this person's hoping and wishing for what you offered. So if this is someone who didn't want a relationship, they do now. If this is someone who left you because it was like, well, I want to go live a little. Well, you know, all my friends are single, so I want to be single. Well, you know, we've been together for six years and this isn't what I thought it was going to feel like, so I got to go. Whatever that looks like, they're recognizing that they want it back. I'm wrong. That's literally what I want to say. I'm wrong. I was wrong. But that's the knot of wands. Sometimes you have to do things and learn the hard way. Here's an example. The other night... We were outside playing. We as in me, my baby, neighbor boys, okay? I have the tendency to always spend time outside with the children. It's just who I am. I am that person. I love being outside with them. I love hearing their stories. And I love knowing that they're safe because there's an adult there. Well, it was about 9.45, 10 o'clock. And one of the boys' moms starts pulling into the driveway. Apparently, they were not supposed to be out that late. And what was weird is right before that, I had said to them, hey, you need to make sure you're going in when you're supposed to because so-and-so is about to come around that corner. And when they do, they're going to find you out here. Not even two minutes later, so-and-so comes around the corner. They're still in the phase of learning. They're learning so much so that some of the stuff that they were doing had me laughing because I knew it wasn't going to work. As soon as this car comes around the corner, which was one of their mothers, they start running like deer. And like dodging and weaving and like trying to hide. Okay, it's 9.30, 9.45 at night. It's pretty dark out, but I've got the outside lights on so we can see a little. And there's car lots. These babies hide underneath the trampoline. What? Out of all the places you could hide, that's where you're going to hide? And as soon as they pulled beside the trampoline, the car stops and I hear her go, are my babies out here? And I was like, girl, you know they out here. You know you can see them. In their mind, they thought that that was a good choice. They're in the process of learning. So they're in the process of lying and getting caught, recognizing they don't know everything, recognizing that some of their choices are going to be dumb, but that doesn't mean that they're dumb. And we had the, it, we laughed so hard because somebody else had made a comment and said, well, you know, I had said to her that I thought that they were deer, and I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I was like, listen, you can't be giving babies the benefit of the doubt because they will pull the wool over your eyes as soon as you let them. And we had, it, it was so funny. It was the funniest circumstances. But in that moment, I realized, oh, these babies are still in the lesson of learning. Like, they, they're still in the energy of lying and seeing if they're going to get caught, pushing the boundaries. Uh, th that's, what, that's the phase of their life that they're in. That's this person. This person's in the phase of their life where they are pushing boundaries, seeing what works for them, seeing what doesn't, seeing what lies get them, seeing what, what does it get them when they cut someone off and then they actually want that person. They're in the phase of learning, okay? So, what is this person, I don't know, planning for the future? Wanting some, yeah, again, this person is planning for the future, now, the future is full of passion, full of new beginnings. This could also be something you're going after. Be careful in hoping, be careful of hoping and wishing for someone to come back and give you effort when they disappointed you. 
Because I am seeing that if you're hoping and wishing for this person to come back and sweep you off your feet and make everything right, that you're going to be disappointed. Nothing is a rom-com. Life is not a fairy tale. So I am seeing that although this person might want new beginnings, there's also an energy of them planning for the future and seeing what ships coming in looks like for them. Okay? So I am seeing that this person might open up dialogue with you and let you know that they have some sort of an emotion or something that's been hard for them to express. That's going to be for some of you. So, hold on a second. What do I want to... What does this person want with you? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing two separate energies over here. I'm seeing that this person could step up, but I'm also seeing that there's a possibility for some of you to either get married to someone here very, very soon. Some of you could be getting married here coming up, like very soon. Some of you could already be in a commitment going towards that. Some of you are about to get in a long-term commitment or something stable if you're single. But it could be with someone new if this person doesn't take action or doesn't step up. Okay, what it, what does this person want with you? They want to leave, maybe waiting for the future, waiting for things to change, waiting for their ships to come in. They want to leave that in the past. So what's happening here is someone's recognizing what success and victory looks like. Someone's recognizing the grass isn't greener. Someone's recognizing you can't wait for everything that you want or you're going to lose everything that you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into an extended and dig a little bit more into this person. I don't know exactly what I'm going to get, but we're going to jump into it and dig into it. If you want it, you can find it down below individually at Gumroad or by itself on Patreon. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.